Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. And on this video, we're gonna take our first look at the tangent ratio with this short introduction. Now there are a lot of moving parts when we're talking about the tangent ratio. And so this video is meant to serve as an introduction so you can learn the new terms, what they mean, and how we can use that in the future videos to help us solve for unknown sides and unknown angles. So let's start with this idea of the tangent ratio. Now the tangent ratio comes from our friend, the slope triangle. Remember in Algebra 1, we use these slope triangles to help us determine the rate of growth for our lines. We're going to look at this slope triangle and see how we can develop this idea of the tangent ratio. Now remember, in a slope triangle, we always have a 90 degree angle there in the bottom right corner. Our slope triangle is a right triangle. And so this angle here equals 90 degrees. Now, the angle off to the side here, we call that our slope angle. This is the angle that is determining the slope of this line. It tells us how much this line is going to open up and that's what's creating the slope for that line. Now we don't know what that angle is at the moment and if we don't know what an angle is, we usually label it with this term here called theta. I'll go ahead and write that out so you guys can see that. Theta is just a Greek letter and it is a variable for an angle. So just like we use x and we use y to put for sides that we don't know, we're gonna use theta to label an angle that we don't know the value for. So, so far we see that there's a right angle here. We have this other angle down here that's called the slope angle. It determines how wide that angle is and we don't know what it is so we call it theta. Now going back to algebra one, you probably were taught about rise over run. Now in my series of videos, I don't refer to that as rise over run. Instead, I refer to this side here as delta y. And what delta y refers to, that is literally the change in y. Delta is a Greek symbol that stands for change. And what that's representing is how my line is changing in the y direction. Now delta y is always the side that's opposite from my slope angle. So it's always easy to find. If whatever angle I'm looking at, the side that's opposite that angle is always your delta y. Now your delta x is the other side that forms this right angle. And delta x refers to the change in x. That is the change in our x direction. So, so far, so good. We're remembering from algebra one that delta y is this vertical side. And it's now the side that's opposite from our slope angle. And then we have our delta x here, which is the side that is next to our slope angle and also creates the 90 degree angle. Now, if I were to ask you what the slope is for this triangle, hopefully we can understand back from algebra one that the slope is just going to be your delta y over your delta x, right? Rise over run. In this case, we're doing delta y over delta x. Now, what the point of the tangent ratio is in geometry is bridging this gap between what the slope is and how it relates to this angle. Every angle that we look at has its own slope. It opens up a certain amount, let's say 20 degrees or 30 degrees or 45 degrees. Every single angle here is going to create a different slope. And we refer to that as the tangent ratio. 
And this is how we explain that out when we're writing it in a mathematical sentence. We would say that the tangent of theta, remember theta is referring to an angle that could be 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees. But what we're understanding is that the tangent of theta is going to equal this slope ratio. And that is what the tangent ratio is. It's understanding that the angle in our slope triangle is determining that slope. All right, guys, I hope this served as a nice brief introduction to what the tangent ratio is and what all of these different pieces of our triangle are going to be called. In the next couple of videos, you'll see how we can use this tangent ratio to help us solve for unknown sides or unknown angles. It's that math magician, and I'll see you next time.